educational research shows for years that all the learning, 80% of the learning, takes place outside the classroom. So why not just bring the outside into the classroom? So the reason they learn it outside the classroom is because there's interaction. People learn through action. They don't learn passively. Before we had technology and everybody had a phone in their pocket, there were only really a couple of ways to learn something. One was to go to school and sit there and kind of suffer through that and listen and memorize and then try to make that relevant. And the second way was to go to the library and to get a book. So both of these methods were the way that people learn things. But then along came the digital revolution and we all have access to computers and to tablets and to phones. So if you want to learn something today, you can get it on your phone. Uh, you don't have to go to the library and you don't have to sit in a lecture. But the whole model in education is still based on sitting in a lecture, whether you are in you know, second grade or whether you are in university. Kids love technology. You know, you, it's kind of like a magic pencil. And so, but if you give them the opportunity to explore using technology, then the excitement grows. If you can use the computer or the phone or the tablet as a basis for exploring, then you're going to be excited about it. So, like for example, if you want to learn something and don't know how to do it, you could go to YouTube and find a video. There's, there are videos on everything. What we need to do to encourage more project-based learning is to cut down on the importance of those test results and not to focus just on the test results. So I'm not saying to get rid of the test because nobody wants to get rid of the test. I'm just saying that maybe we shouldn't concentrate on it. Maybe we should use the test as a gauge for like how the student needs to perhaps learn more in a certain area and not evaluate the teacher just on the test. Maybe we should evaluate the teacher on the four C's, which is, do your students know how to communicate? Are they creative? Do they have any critical thinking skills? How about collaboration? Do the kids have any empathy? What about those skills for working in the workplace? What kind of skills are you teaching in that environment, in your classroom? So that's not to say you have to get rid of the lecture. It's just that you want to cut it down. You want to be able to take what you learn in a lecture and use it so it becomes meaningful. And so that's why I'm proposing this 20% time in the classroom. So the 20% time would give students 20% of this week to work on a project that employs the things that they learn or the information that they learn in the other 80% of the time. So it makes the learning relevant. Just try it out and see if your kids don't like it. The first, the first few weeks, it might look like chaos and you might wonder, like, what are they doing? But in fact, at the end of a month, you would be surprised at how much they have learned. <music>